Have you ever just have that feeling? Got a shit. What do you mean? Can I get the blast? That angry, that tired, and mentally drained feeling after playing Valorant. Ever wanted to just play one more game in order to rank back up from where you just fell from? What is this feeling? Well, this all leads back to the true nature of Valorant. Oh boys! Take a look at the main lobby of Valorant. What modes have we got? Unrated, the mode that we barely touched after passing level 20. Competitive, the game mode that we all play and love. Swift play, spike rush, deathmatch, team deathmatch, escalation. These are just warm ups to the 13 points to win match the games. Do you see the problem here? Playing competitive. It's the only way that people truly feel rewarded, just because you will have a rank attached to you. Come on, don't don't lie to yourself. No one is here for that episode rank gun buddy. That is the same every single time. You are here for the rank and the rank only. Unrated and other game modes only give you XP and some kingdom credits. That's it. Valorant is basically built around competitive. The other game modes only serves as a warm up and for when you and your friends' ranks are too far apart. See, even Valorant themselves set it up that way. It all revolves around the rank system. Valorant's core gameplay mechanics can be seen as another issue. While it did contribute to the success of Valorant itself at the first place, it also contributed to a sense of repetitiveness over time. Think about it. What do you do in a Valorant match? You shoot people? You plant and defuse the spike. That's it. Do that 13 times before the other team can, and you win. The lack of significant innovation in the gameplay mechanics could be seen as a drawback for some players. Let me just spit this out, there is simply nothing to strive for in Valorant. Just as I mentioned a few minutes ago, you just get your rank and a rank buddy at the conclusion of each episode. There are no rank skins, no special banners, and no special rewards. So I believe that when there is nothing in Valorant to grind for except for the actual rank itself, the importance of the rank increases because there is literally nothing else to do in the game. Which explains why you desperately want to push your RR slightly higher each time because the rank system is the only thing that you care about in the game as it is highly glorified. With all the above said, this all leads to what we call a content drop, where Valorant content creators have no new contents to work on and can only repeat the same thing again and again and again. This content drop can have a significant impact on the Valorant community and its content creators. The lack of fresh content may result in a decline in viewership and engagement. As fans become bored with seeing the same content repeatedly, this can be frustrating for both the creators and their audience as they crave for new and exciting materials to consume. Don't you feel bored as well sometimes? Don't you just want to move on to the next game that actually has a community with new and refreshing content every day like Helldivers? <laughs> 